This is a satellite built by a team of University of Hawaii at Manoa Engineering students, and it's headed to space. You know, there's some anxiety, um, but I think more than anything, more than happiness, and, and it's, it's relief. And it's finally going to be the end point, and we'll see this thing in a space, and we'll be able to talk to it from the ground here on Earth. So I think that's the most exciting part. About 30 students from the College of Engineering Small Satellite Program, established by Professor Wayne Chiroma in 2001, has spent the last three years designing and building a cube satellite, or CubeSat. So there's like a huge thread right here. From scratch, dubbed Ho'oponopono 2, or H2, it measures 4 inches by 4 inches by 13 inches, about the size of a loaf of bread, and weighs less than 9 pounds. Conventional satellites can be as large as this room that we're standing in, and so the idea here is to downscale um, that type of satellite to be something that can fit literally in the, in the palm of your hand. Many universities don't actually climb up that tree. Uh, we're one of the few universities and we're actually pushing the envelope. For the next year, H2, which cost about $200,000 to build, will replace a satellite 20 times larger and 40 times more expensive that recently failed in orbit. Its experimental mission? to perform radar calibration and performance monitoring for U.S. Department of Defense radar stations, which track various objects in space. We want them to do that with the highest possible accuracy, and so our satellite enables them to do that. NASA's Educational Launch of Nanosatellites program accepted a UH proposal to launch the satellite after Hawaii placed third in the Air Force's University Nanosatellite Program competition in 2011. UH competed against schools like MIT, Cornell, and Michigan Tech. A NASA rocket carrying H2 and 11 other CubeSats built by universities and colleges is scheduled to launch from Virginia on November 4th. You have the technical challenge, but then you even have the management challenge, the life challenge, like everything all at once. We're full-time engineer students, and we're trying to build a satellite at the same time, so it's difficult. But the students say it's been worth every minute of the thousands of man hours spent on the project. This project really put my theoretical work into practice and it make it very, very tangible. Oh, well, what I like about this lab is that it helps with our actual um, real world experience with everything instead of just the book knowledge that the classes teach us. The skills that are gained through doing the work that we do, it's the real thing. It's the, it's the same thing that companies out there are doing today and that's what they're looking for and that's the value I think I see in this project.